Next in the lineup is K-12. K-12 does not have any modifications to it, so we're going to work directly from the book. Um, these are our pieces, and if you notice, this is not equal uh, equal triangle. So essentially, if you look at it this way, we have a flying geese unit here. This is the central triangle, and then the two sides. So this makes a rectangle, and then this is the other one, and then it's connected by a bar. So we're going to assemble this central square here, and then we're going to assemble these triangles. And with this being, when you look at this, this is a weird triangle here, we want to make sure that our square has got all of its sides together. So that way, all you're doing is assembling a square and a square kind of block. So for basting on this block, what we have is we have a bunch of triangles, obviously, and one rectangle. So these I based with the short sides first and then the long sides, so that's no problem. For all of the triangles on this block, I'm going to base the side legs first, then the hypotenuse. This will put the tags out of the middle for these, out of the middle for these, and out of the, off of the rectangle for these. I may have a little bit of an issue here, but it shouldn't because the tags are going to be going in the same direction. So this tag's going to go this way, this tag's going to go this way, so it shouldn't be too much of an issue. So I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to work from the middle and I'm going to get started with my basting on this particular flying geese unit right here. So I've got my triangles basted. I've done the legs first and then the hypotenuse on each one. This one I've already assembled. So I've got my flying geese unit all ready to go and I've basted my rectangle. So this I'm going to attach to the rectangle. I'm going to assemble the second flying geese unit and attach that to my rectangle, thus forming my square. So I've assembled my top flying geese unit and I have attached the rectangle to the other flying geese unit. So now I am going to connect these to make my central square. So now I have my center square all assembled, and now it's a matter of putting on the triangles on the side. So I will stick this on point and attach these exactly where they're supposed to be so that my directional fabric doesn't get affected. So I've got my triangles basted. I basted the outside edges and then the hypotenuse last of these. So I'll do the other two the same way and I will attach these at the corners. So I've got the uh, corners attached to this side and I've got the other corners basted and this is all wonky but that's okay because it'll work itself out once we remove the papers later on when we attach it. So I'm going to attach these two corners and that'll finish up my block. So now I have the other corners attached and I have a completed K-12 block.